one meat potato type of dish is less than $3. What's up, P-Nation? Today we are in Kiev. It is a bit rainy outside, but we are gonna tell you how expensive this city is. And this is Daniel! This is Zach's best friend from high school. We picked him up from the airport yesterday, and he's gonna be with us for the next Okay, so we've been in Ukraine for about 10 days now and this country is really one of the cheapest countries in Europe by like 
everything that we've seen. Like we eat at nice restaurants, we go on nicer trains, and everything is cheaper than it was in Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, and even the Western countries we've been to before. It's true, the transportation is ridiculously inexpensive. All three cities we've been to, Lviv, Odessa, and Kiev, super inexpensive. And what's so nice is that they also have Uber, so like getting from like one destination to the other is so easy. And I would say the food in Ukraine is really, really delicious. You have to find the right spot, but when you do, like one meat potato type of dish is less than $3. It's crazy. That's amazing. And that's what we're about to do now. On to brunch. So now onto food. We are here having brunch. We're gonna have dinner later today. We're gonna show some prices of menu items in this menu. So let's open up this menu. It is massive. As you can see, breakfast costs mostly under 100. Some of it even costs less than $2. Burger and fries, it will cost you 175 to 200. If you're looking for sweet Vereniki, these are amazing. They have berries on the inside and out, and they're all between 75 and 100. Borscht soup is 54. Here are some vegetable options. Potato pancakes are definitely a go-to. They're 68. Chicken Kiev with potatoes, it is 150. So we have borscht soup, and we've tried this a few times before. It's pretty much beet soup, but it kind of has like a tomatoey, super vinegary flavor. It is so good. Chicken Kiev, and it's pretty much just like a breaded piece of chicken that's been flattened out, rolled into a bowl, and I think they like deep fry it or pan fry it with frozen butter in the middle. So like when you open it, all of this butter gushes out, and it's got like dill and garlic, pepper, and it is very good. Meat crepes, so like crepes filled with meat, and they're rolled up, and they've kind of like chopped them like on a diagonal, and they put them in the skillet with some mushrooms and some cream sauce, and it is so good. It is reminding me of my dad's beef stroganoff. This is delicious. So for dessert, we got blueberry vareniki, and it came with a sweet cream sauce. Ooh, that meal is amazing. Now we're gonna show you some prices of an even cheaper meal if you shop at the grocery store. Yeah. A large pack of Oreos is 19. These are really good. They have pretzels and many different flavors and they range anywhere from 21 to 28. Of course, grocery stores have fruit, but it's often cheaper on the street. Another great thing to do is get some sausages and some bread and have a street snack. These are below 40 and above 20. And these are amazing. They're peanut butter filled chocolate cups and they are 42. Some essential items. Shampoo is about $2, sometimes three. Everything's really cheap here. Soap is only 15, that's less than a dollar. A bag of Lay's will cost you 19 to 22. A can of Coke will cost you 10. There are many different kinds of water here, but this is the best kind and it costs 12. Croissants are a very popular item and here they come in 10 different flavors and they're all less than 10. So now we're at St. Andrew's Church, which is looking over one of the oldest communities in Kiev. And I don't think I've ever seen such a turquoise building except for the time we are in New Orleans and we saw Commander's Palace. This is really cool. So unfortunately, the church is closed to go inside, but you can get tickets for 20 also. Very inexpensive if you're trying to look at some really cool churches around Kiev. So we just went to St. Michael's Golden Dome Monastery and it's by far the most intricate church that we've been in. And lucky for us, it's right next to the funicular, so now we are heading down to the river.
So we just came down the funicular. It was only eight to get on. That is such a good deal. And it was really fun. So total expenses for one day in Ukraine for two people comes out to 75.72 right on our target. So accommodation was $35 per night divided by three times two for Zach and I is $23. Plus transportation is about five. Lunch about 32 because in Ukraine you are required to tip. Attractions approximately $3.25 and dinner approximately 12. There you go. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope to help you figure out how much you're gonna spend when you come to Kiev. This city is very inexpensive. You should definitely check it out. You should. So we have not left. It's only eight Ukrainian currency? Yeah. That's what we say? Okay.